Good morning guys, and you joined me on the way to Alden Park to film episode 5 of Fight for the Top, a documentary series I'm making with Max Coates following his progression through the 2018 Clio Cup Championship. This weekend, not only am I going to be following Max's progression and seeing how he gets on, I also want to bring the view from the fans. You know, what is it about a Toka weekend that makes it such a great event to go to? I've arranged to meet up with some different people, so we've got families coming along, uh, individuals. We've also got a Facebook group that I've arranged to meet up with and spend some time with. They're called Jeff Army. Now, go and check out their, uh, their page at some point. I'll put a link down below. Now, with these guys, we're going to do some things like track walks, we're going to go over to their campsite and just generally see what, what they get up to over the course of the weekend. It should be really interesting and a very different view of things. And also, which is going to be a massive challenge, trying to bring out daily videos for you. If you click on the subscribe button just down there and the little bell icon, you'll get an alert when the videos actually come out. So it's going to be rather challenging, but I think it should be a lot of fun. I've been travelling now for around three, three and a half hours and I've got to Warwick service station. I've pulled over, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee, maybe a sandwich or something like that. I've got another couple of hours to go, so I'm due to Alton around half eight, something like that. So I'm going to go and get something to eat and then carry on the journey. I'm about half an hour away from Alton Park and the weather really has taken a turn for the worse. It's absolutely chucking it down. It's typical last weekend, it was 26, 27 degrees, blue skies. So absolutely perfect for an outside event. Well today, it's absolutely horrible. I think it's gonna definitely be a wet practice session, but we'll chat to Max actually when we get there. If by some miracle the sun does come out, well, that'd be good. But at the moment, I'm certainly not gonna hold my breath. I'm only about five minutes outside of the circuit and I don't know how it's happened, but there's been no rain whatsoever. The roads are bone dry, it's overcast, but I don't care about that. So that's gonna be, well, I'm very happy about that one. There's nothing worse than getting wet. So we're gonna head there now. I seem to be going down a lot of country roads. I don't know whether that's normal for around this circuit as I've never been here before or whether Google Maps has decided to take me on some wonderful magical mystery tour around the countryside, but I'll be there pretty soon. I'm gonna give Max's dad a ring and hopefully he can come and pick me up from the car park. I've just arrived at the Team Pyro garage and they are firing the cars up ready for FP1. It's 10 o'clock now, the cars are going out at 10.45, so probably in the next 15 minutes or so, they're gonna head over to the pit lane it's a brand new circuit for me so I've no idea where anything actually is um, point of FP1 really is just to get a base set up of the car the weather's well it's dry which is brilliant it's slightly windy though um, but it's certainly going to be dry tires and we're, we'll see how he gets on really it's it's a good chance to get used to the car and we'll have a chat with him a bit later on Max is getting ready just behind me over there just getting ready to go out for first practice. Weather's cold but dry, which is brilliant. So we're gonna head over and over to the pit lane. We've got George, we can join in. Oi! Ah, they like vegetables in here. That's obviously what it is. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head on over to the pit lane. We're heading on over to the pit lane. We've got Rob next to me here, driving the buggy and we've got all the tools on the back. So we've got everything that we need in order to make any maybe minor setup tweaks and things like that. Um, not sure what's this track like for Max. Oh, it's good, good, yeah, fine. That's what we like to hear. Obviously, with Truxton being a bit of a, a bogey circuit, really, but coming away with two podiums, um, yeah, should be should be good. Max has been out for about the past 15, 20 minutes and is running in P3. Gary over the pit wall is giving the timings to Max. Basically, gives Max an idea of where he is compared to everyone else. He's due in any minute now to change the tyres and basically have a quick discussion on setup. Let's see how he gets on.
Max is going yeah. for a second set of tyres. Um, I'm not actually sure what they are that's gone on there, but he was running in third before that. So he will be finishing um, the session pretty soon and be coming in. He'll then go and have a chat with the mechanics and also have a debrief and look at lap data and things like that. We'll catch up with him probably in about half an hour's time and see how he got on. First practice one is over and Max has come in in sixth place, which is really good. We've just brought the car around to the weighing scales, which are just over there. There's a minimum weight the car has to be. I can't quite remember what it is. I'll put a little caption or something to say what it should be. Max is getting ready for free practice turn. be heading out within the next sort of 10 to 15 minutes. Just behind me on track now, we've got the GT4 Super Cup going around and they'll be coming in quite shortly. This time around, Max is going to put a new set of tyres on the car because Interestingly, got sick last time, but everyone in front of him put on new tyres, so that does make a massive difference. Also, Max told me that the time he posted in FP1 would have actually been pole two years ago, so it proves what the competition is like at the moment. So we're gonna head over the back of the track and see how Max gets on. Second practice two is now over, so I'm gonna head back to the Team Pyro garage and have a chat with Max. Unfortunately, the 4G on my iPad decided it just couldn't be bothered to work at the minute, so I've no idea how well or how badly, no, how well he's done, so we're gonna go back and have a chat with him. It's the end of the evening now, and Max came in fifth in the second practice. He did get a bit of a slap on the wrist for exceeding track limits, so that's the only downside, but overall, he's really happy with the car. Had something to eat. Now I'm gonna go and try and find Jeff Army. I've been told they may have possibly had a few drinks and they're somewhere hiding in that campsite over there. So I'm gonna go and try and find them and see what is this group really all about. Why change the habit of a lifetime, mate? Dilly, dilly. <laughs> Look at me, it's, uh, for, for your info, it's just uh, about your five a day. strawberry mineral water, seasoned with gin and seasoned. <laughs> 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 a side of gin. Slightly oh, moldy. Seasoned. Side of seasoned. It's got a nice perfume though. <laughs> <laughs> and I've covered it with a label from Asda, <laughs> just, to, just to make sure I'm okay. Does it smell like the grant yet? <laughs> in the morning <laughs> <laughs> when I can't feel my legs I'm going your legs no when I wake up I'm going that, that must be that spicy mineral water that I drank last time <laughs> that's what it's going to happen bro I'll be like that your... oh that's the mineral water I'm not having any more tonic water yeah. is that your yes, motto? I'm done is that your motto? Well, seasoned with gin <laughs> That's the end of the first day here at Alton Park. It's been absolutely brilliant. Spent two or three hours over with the guys at Jeff Army, and I've officially been known as Video Jeff now. Thanks for that guys. So, I'm gonna go and uh, get some sleep now. It's gonna be a busy day tomorrow. Well, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comments are always welcome, and remember to click on that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.